A CRM is useless if it's not properly updated and maintained. Unfortunately, so many businesses have very bad CRM hygiene when there's old deals, stuff not getting updated, wrong emails, deals are in the wrong stages, there's no proper values for the deals and a whole lot of stuff. And it's no surprise, if you manage the CRM yourself, you know, doing a lot of calls back to back, or for example, if you run a field service business, you're out on the field, you get home exhausted, you're not gonna want to update the CRM, even if you know how important that is. Or if you manage your sales team, you know how hard it is to get your sales reps to actually do the admin tasks and stuff to update the CRM and keep it clean. We've seen clients of ours actually hire or have sales admins or sales VAs on payroll, paying them $2,000, $3,000 every single month just to make sure that the CRM is clean and well-maintained. So we built an AI agent that does it for you. And I'm going to demo this agent for you today. As you can see, I have it out here in the open, but before I get into it, I will have to mention that this is a sub agent of our master executive assistant AI agent that we're building right now. It's around one eighth of what we're planning on building. As you can see, this is the master one. It takes the telegram input and the CRM agent is right here. We are using Telegram, but you can use whatever messaging app you want. So we have this demo CRM here with go high level. Um, for example, you can see there's a few deals and stuff like that here. So here's how that CRM agent works. Let's do a simple query first. Um, what are all the open opportunities we have in the... Uh, we have that and it should as we can see here you see all those four of those opportunities and we got liberty goods we got tony s we got mar -a lago and tony montana deal so um this was a simple sort of one tool query so i'm going to explain what that means in a second but this is a pretty simple thing Let's say we're out on the field right now. We're at Mar-a-Lago. And um, for example, if you run a roofing company, you might be out and about. You did the contact, you showed up, and now you want, you already, let's say, sent the estimate as well, but you're, you don't have the time to go into your CRM and actually update it. So what we can do here is update the Mar-a-Lago deal to estimate sent. And it, our agent actually does it for us. So let's wait a little bit. Because so it said it has been successfully updated and we see it actually move pretty much real time. The reason why I'm using the CRM and the, and the chat on the side is so you can see that it actually does what it's supposed to do. But in day-to-day -day use, what I do is I just use my phone and I usually send voice messages to it to do the updates between my calls or when I'm on it, out and about, right? So maybe one more thing that I can show you is, um, is that it can also use different like compound queries. So for example, what I'm going to do is, let's take the Tony S deal right here. I'm gonna say, change the Tony S deal name to uh, Tony Soprano deal. I'm going to add this just in case. And so this is where the compound query comes in or, or prompt and change the value to $10,000. So now the, what the agent should do is first update the deal or update the opportunity name. And then it goes back and then it understands that, okay, we need to change the value to $10,000 as well. So it needs to go back. So it takes a little bit of more advanced reasoning. And if we open this up, we can see Tony Soprano deal, $10,000, all cool and well. Um, and you can use text as I'm doing right now. You can use phone for voice activation as well. So maybe I can show is move the Tony Soprano deal to follow up stage in the CRM. And what it should do now is obviously understand it has a sort of voice to text 
interpreter step in between as well. And then it goes to follow up. So I'm a huge, I would really like to use Siri um, on a day-to-day -day basis, but Siri is not that great. But with our EA, it actually works really well. And I have the habit of actually sending voice messages to our robotic EA every single day about different parts of our business, like you would do to a real EA, which is very cool. So we can see that it has successfully been moved to the follow-up and, and it is shown here. So enough of the demo, let's actually get into the nitty gritty of it all. Um, let's break down how it actually works. So I talked about sort of singular queries or prompts and then compound prompts. Essentially what I mean is when it has to use one tool or, or two tools, right? And you can see, I mean, from the start, we have the CRM agent itself. We're using 4.1 mini for this, or for most of our agents. Um, we do have the reasoning thing because there's a lot of tools, as you can see, attached to it. So we want it to be smart and take a little bit of longer to think about what we actually say, understand it, and then pick the right tools. So we do have the, the think note here. The cool thing on NAN is you don't ha have to actually give it a super in-depth description for the thing. It's smart enough to do it yourself. But to quickly break down, as you can see, they're all HTTP, HTTP requests uh, with Go High Level because Go High Level API is, how do I say it nicely, not optimal for um, integrations like this, but nonetheless, we made it work. As you can see, there's one and two where we had to do a little bit of a workaround. So as you can see, there's a lot of tools that we're using over here or this agent can use. The reason for it is with something that has that many moving parts, like a CRM agent, even if you don't want to ask, you know, what are the pipelines in our CRM? Because you know what the pipelines in your CRM are. The agent might not know that. So if you say update this in the CRM, it should be able to get the actual pipeline in your CRM and then reason through it that, okay, we're gonna use the sales pipeline, not the jobs or not the clients pipeline, but the sales pipeline when we're talking about deals, right? That's the reason for that many tools. We have the opportunities, things like that. Tags, so you can add tags um, to any of the opportunities. You can create notes, so exactly the same way. Mm, tasks, so you can add tasks. So for example, if you have a sales rep and you remember at dinner, your computer is already shut down, maybe it's at the office, right? But you remember, oh, I want to make sure that my sales rep tomorrow morning, the first thing that they're gonna do is follow up with that huge deal that we have in the pipeline. Well. All you have to do is take your phone, maybe run to the restroom so your wife and kids don't get mad that you're working uh, during dinner and you shoot it a quick little five second voice message. Hey, add a task to wh whoever John to follow up with Tony Soprano deal tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. And that's that, you know, the agent does the rest. It never sleeps. It doesn't have a family. It's awesome. Um, maybe one of the things that I do want to show you is just the, the sort of system prompt for the CRM agent because it's very long and it has gone through a lot of iterations um, for us to make sure it gives consistent, repeatable and sort of output and, and results that you can rely on, right? So you don't have to go very specific and make sure you use the right words in your prompts, but you can use very natural language they use every single day or you would use with your employee to get it done. And this, is, this sort of prompt structure is the best that we've seen uh, for AI agents. It might change in a few months, but so far this sort of structure has gotten us the best results. So first of all, we hit it with the overview, who you are, what your role is, and essentially what you should do. Then we give a little bit of more context before actually going deeper into it. So for example, what I mentioned, we will send natural language queries. Um, the agent or the system has access to CRM tools, uh, breaking down contacts, pipelines, and <coughs> opportunities, which is like the, the structure of the go high level CRM um, and some more stuff. Then we give it instructions, kind of what it needs to do, when to use the tool, um, if it needs to modify data, what it needs to do, and if nothing is found, reply with a helpful message, not just leave us out in the cold and ghost us, you know? Um, and just keep telling it to be concise. We always like to kind of break down all the tools that um, it has access to. We've seen that this gives 
a higher, like way higher chance of the agent actually using the right tool um, when you use, include all of them in the, in the system prompt. And then also adding rules for the tool. So this is kind of annoying to do. And as you can see, it's really long. The way we usually actually build this is we start demo testing, we start seeing where the edge cases, where the agent actually fails, and then adding the rules for the different tools down, down here. So as you can see, I'm not gonna go through them, but it's pretty in depth. This is kind of like edge case handling. So, and then we like to ex include examples of like what sort of input it can get. So um, find the opportunity associated with raw and modify its value to 1000 just kind of like how it would actually be used in real life. Um, input, can you find Rob in the, in the CRM? What sort of output it should give, so on and so forth. Then an SOP, so a standard operating procedure for it, which is kind of like just like a high level overview of what it should do just once again. And then some final notes, sort of like um, be polite, concise and accurate in all responses, always validate it, so on and so forth. And yeah, this is a quick little demo of our the, of the CRM agent that we're actually using every single day. And like I mentioned, it's around one eighth of the full executive assistant agent that we're building right now. If you like this video, if you found this valuable, make sure you subscribe because we'll, I'll be recording more videos as we build, develop agents like this for ourselves and for our clients. We run WindGrowth, which is a operations and AI automation or AI agent development firm for service-based businesses. So whether that's marketing agencies or field service businesses like roofing or plumbing or, or power washing or lawn care, doesn't matter. We can, and we do uh, implement solutions like these for, for clients and we learn every single day and we take those learnings, turn into videos and breakdowns exactly like this. So if you enjoy this, throw a like, subscribe. You can even throw a comment if you really enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned for the next one. In the meantime, what you can go and take a look is uh, our AI ad agent that is tapped into your ad data and you can extract useful information from as well from Telegram exactly like this. That is also a sub agent of our executive assistant. Thank you so much for watching and see you, see you soon.